So the question is, um, from the fellow's perspective, uh, how do we see Idea Cubed, or what does Idea Cubed really mean to us? From the point of view of a fellow, Idea Cubed is a lot of straightening up everything you should do and say, it's, you come with an idea, and it's a big blur. Now make it solid, put a frame to it, and be sure that every step will be about as solid as the data can give you? Well, as, uh, that's uh, a good question because basically I think that is one of the best things of the consortium, the, uh, the whole process of generating an idea that has to be based on a very important medical need. The process is similar to ones like PhD defense or general committee um, that help them through the PhD process where you have a an idea and you're kind of presenting it to a committee of people with a lot of different backgrounds and they really try to understand your hypothesis and your goals and see if the plan you put forth is the most effective way to get there. For me, IdeaCube is a different approach uh, to the research problems in the sense that it starts with uh, finding an uh, important need statement, important uh, unmet need in the medical area, in our case, in the Ambition Fellowship case. A recurring theme during the idea cube process was that we work from the need. Um, so we figure out a problem, and figure out how impactful a solution would be um, before we even attempt to think of a solution for it. And that has influenced the way I've thought of um, science and how I want to go about doing things in my life. Uh, so in that sense, I think the idea cube was really useful for me. There's some formalism to it. You come up with a whole bunch of ideas. Um, they get filtered out by, by the other fellows that you're working with and with the faculty. Uh, and then the hope is that the ones that, that everyone is excited about and um, people can see a logical connection from the idea to an impact, uh, that, that those, those ideas will become more refined and, and have a better chance of turning into a a viable, impactful project. So the ones that are uh, really not going to make an impact are filtered out, and the ones that can make an impact continues, and the research, the uh, methodology uh, is also uh, criticized highly so that something can uh, make an impact out of this, can come out of the research. Overall, what it does is help you hone your uh, idea into something that a group of people really think could have impact.